Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. We are so close to finishing. I just got done putting the steel up here on this gable. Um, we started it the other day, but I got one more piece of trim to put up. Hey, I've been asked to show this detail many times and that is here at the soffit where the eave soffit is gonna die into the gable soffit. And what we do, I'm not a fan of what I've always been heard called bird boxes where this is built out uh, to the end of the gable. What I like to do is run our trim all the way out to our fascia on the eave. And then we've got this space to deal with. You can see, you can't leave this open. It's a space for definitely critters to get into. Now what I do is I take a piece of fascia and I'm gonna put my pitch cut on it. I've already marked this. I'm not just eyeballing it. Then I'll pull the plastic off. Then what I'm able to do is I'm able to slip this little end in my eave fascia, pop it up here. Now, I've got this guy here. I'll go ahead and put my trim here, but you can see this will solidify this, and when I secure all of this in place, it's gonna make this a really nice detail. I think it cleans it up really nice and obviously terminates your eave soffit and uh, returns it up into your gable. So I think that looks nice and it's minimal. It doesn't have this big bulky box on it. So hopefully that helps somebody. Go ahead and leave me any questions that you might have and uh, we'll go ahead and I'll show you this detail all finished up as well. All right, there you go. So this is how this wraps up. We got a J channel that caps the steel. And if you're wondering about water, what we do is we make this a two piece J so water can actually come out here and uh, basically run out underneath this two foot overhang. We're not too much worried about rain. Yes, there will be some wind driven rain opportunity, but it's gonna work its way right out and every joint in the J channel. We've been doing this for a while. Uh, haven't had any issues. But we do like the way this kind of just terminates around. We got this box here that seals off our soffit from any critters and just cleans it up really nice. So there you go. Careful because the
26, say 26 and 3 8 Greg. 15 and a half, same cut. This window is another one of those instances where I kind of dreaded it because I thought, man, what a pain in the butt, you know? Uh, client adds a window, which I don't mind an ad. I don't mind a change order. I want to make the client happy in the end. Uh, I don't want them to think, oh, why, why didn't we just do that? And, you know, Kyle didn't want to make a change and he had a contract and he didn't want to add a window. Well, it's not that big of a deal, but, you know, we're at the end of the job. The last thing I had to do was put this ridge cap on this little porch and I thought, oh crap, customer wants to add a window here. So take all the steel off. Uh, luckily he had a boom lift that we could use, which is awesome. And honestly, one of these deals that uh, if we would have just known from the beginning, obviously would have been easier. And I agree, this window is probably a good add to have here. It, it kind of balances the window on the other side of this porch ridge. So, you know, sometimes in contracting, you come across these instances where you know, you don't want to do it because maybe it adds work or it is a pain in the butt, but honestly, it took me, I don't know what time it is, maybe a little over, maybe two hours to do this. Not a big deal. Yeah, it's going to be a... I don't want to drop it. I want, I can't go much lower because I'm in the roof. See what I'm saying? Now I just got to be careful. And I'm not out of the woods yet. All right, this is a tough one. As long as I stay in it. Didn't even cut myself, man. There we go, great. to the puzzle I guess it's kind of like putting the angel on the Christmas tree and that is the cupola so this cupola is a first of its kind for us this is a four foot cupola I've never done a four foot cupola so I'm pretty pumped this is an MWI they're the ones that do our soffit and they also bend our soffit starter which is the F and J channel trim that goes up in our eaves and gives us that trim for our side steel as well as our soffit trim to go or our soffit steel to go into. Oh, look at that, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> Pre-made base. Dang, Let's dude, go. that is killer. Let's go. Oh, look at this, Greg. We got some instructions. Should we keep them? Nah. Nah. We can't put together a cupola. Maybe I'll just read them real quick. Look at that, Greg. Let's build it. You wanna build it first? Let's build it and then we can always take the top off. But let's build it so that we know everything's good. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Sure. Yep. These are legit. That's the top. Go ahead and use your gentle touch to put that together. Pretty nice. All these pieces come basically here, you want that one or no? No, you probably can't get the plastic off, huh? While you're holding. Ready? Yeah. Wait, wait, which way are we going? We're rolling it this way. Oh. Okay. It's more comfortable. It's super solid anyway. Okay. 
set it in the here spin it stretch it build it just like this dude and put just it on the pad work it up and work it up there lift it up oh, I ain't nothing I ain't nothing for us I ain't nothing so here we've got these corner gussets these are gonna grooved out like routered out so they fit right in there perfectly Like torture, like small little pieces of plastic. I hear you. Like get waterboard. You know, when I went to Germany, I went to a uh, torture museum. Yeah. Yeah, Lindsay didn't want to, but I thought it'd be interesting. What'd you learn? Uh, that people back in the day just really thought women were like the devil. Us male species clearly have issues with like dominance and like we didn't want a woman to be. Come from the other side, my dude. Huh? Let's see it from the other side. No, 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 no. Oh, Just get oh, okay, on the okay, other okay. side of your. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what you're doing. So easy, a post framer can do it. We should just put Zach inside of it, and then he can like you know do how this. Hot for me. that would be. You want the... Oh yeah, yeah, give me that. North East, South West. Right. See, I like that. I like that design. It is nice. Ready to come down? Yeah, man. I'm ready. Put Wait, let me, let me put some more caulk yeah, on these. Yeah, put some caulk on top. Well, what do you guys think? That's a pretty killer looking cupola. I will take it up to the roof and uh, get it installed and see how it looks. It's a pretty cool cupola. Uh, that's a four foot MWI it's got the glass walls and the 30 inch weather vane. So pretty premium cupola, goes up easy, goes together easy, basically comes all ready to go. You just gotta put it together, uh, take it up on the roof. So now remember this detail here, this flashing that goes up underneath the steel, I've got it out and wrapped around the corner as well as this from this side wrapping over. So we've got like a double lap here and then my hip cap goes right over top of it all the way up. And then I've got my corner trim detail. We're gonna take this corner trim, tuck it underneath our soffit starter. And it should line up perfectly here on the corner. So there's that detail. You can see that hip cap lapping over everything. I'm not overly concerned with this location right out here uh, any water that goes there this is double lapped around underneath so water is going to work its way out it's not going to be able to drive any further up and i don't know if you can see oh for sure you can you can see the closure strip right there you can see where the screw locations are so we screw through the closure that way it can't go anywhere and that's going to keep any wind driven rain snow anything from working its way into the building so that's an important detail. I don't know if we'll be able to see underneath the hip 
we've got the same sort of closure system and that's going to prevent anything from working its way up the hip. Now the detail on this closure, you can see Greg has that bead, that butyl, it's a caulk tape. This is it right here. And basically, we're going to stick one side here to the trim. You can see him underneath there, it's a nice tight spot. And then you uh, pull the backing off and it'll stick to the roof and then we'll put our screws through. Yeah. It'll stick to Greg too. Yeah. Dude, I'm sweating bullets here. Yeah, it's pretty hot. But we'll pull that off, put our screws through, and it'll give us a good seal so we don't have to worry about anything. 